Welcome back to Too Far Too Mad. I am your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we'll be looking at grade six, and we'll be looking at the hardest subject for them in the national examinations, and that is math application. And this is math application test one for you, grade six students. So, grade six students, I will be presenting you with the type of questions you will encounter on your national mathematics application examination. So get ready, get your paper and pencil. I believe in you, you will pass this examination. Here we go with question one. The chart shows the number of students in some grades who like vanilla ice cream. Use the following chart to complete the pictograph below. Timer is off and going. Let's see if you can get it done. By the time we get to zero on that counter. So you have the grades, four, five, six, and then the students who like vanilla, six, two, four. Look on the pictograph and look at the key. Change those numbers into pictures. That's why it's called a pictograph. Here we go. We are down to one and zero. You should have completed that by now, students. And we move on to question two. The temperature was three degrees Celsius at 9 a.m. By 12 noon, it had dropped by five degrees Celsius. What was the new temperature? The timer is on you're dealing with integers here so let's see how you handle this question grade six down to two one you should be completing zero here we go Question three, the ratio of boys to girls is one to two. If there are six girls, give the number of boys. Timer is off and going. Two, one, you should be completing it by now, zero, and we move on to question four. Plot and join these points on the graph. You have three points there, look at them, and then that's A, B, name the type of triangle formed after you join those points. So get cracking, join those points quickly, then Name the type of triangle formed after you join those three points and you will get a triangle. Name that triangle. Two. One. Should be completing by now. And we move on to question five. Clem has a 12 feet piece of plywood. If he cuts it into three equal pieces, what is the length of each piece? Timer is off and going. Do what you have to do to come up with the answer. You're halfway there. Should be completing one zero and we move on now to question six the cost of a soda is one dollar and 55 cents and the cost of a sandwich is five dollars and 25 cents a estimate each price to the nearest dollar estimate the cost of the soda and estimate the cost of the sandwich to the nearest dollar b find the sum of the estimates in a once you've done the estimates find the sum of the estimates Down to three, two, should be finishing up now, one, zero, and we move on to question seven. Each side of a square table is two meters. Find the perimeter of this table, and the timer is off. 
each side of a square table is two meters. Find the perimeter of this table. You should know what perimeter is. Students and teachers, if a child does not understand a word, you, they raise their hand, you must call it for them. This is not a reading, this is math application. So call those words for the students if they raise their hand. And we're down to zero. You should be completed with that perimeter. And we move on to question eight. Mary uses one pound of flour in a recipe that makes two servings. How many pounds of flour will she need for six servings? Timer is off and running. Mary uses one pound of flour in a recipe that makes two servings. How many pounds of flour will she need for six servings? Down to one, should be finishing off. Zero, you should be finished. And we move on to question nine. There are eight boys and seven girls in a class. What is the probability of picking a boy at random from this class? Timer is off and going. There are eight boys and seven girls in a class. What is the probability of picking a boy at random from this class? They don't know that word probability and they raise their hand, you must call that word for them. Should be finishing up now. Zero, and here we go with question 10, final question. Complete the following table that shows the flight times of Banana Airlines. Look at the table. You have to put in an arrival time and you have to put in a flight time. Go ahead, get it done. Put in the arrival time on the table and write the flight time on the table. You should be finishing that off for Banana Airlines. Zero, and we get to the best part. Answers are upcoming, guys. Mark your answers. Here we go. See if you got 100%. Question one. You had to draw the stick persons. So for grade four, there are six. So how many stick persons would you need? One. Two, three, yeah, because each one is two students. So two, four, six, for grade five, how many would you need? Two of them like vanilla, you only need one. And for grade six, four of them like vanilla, how many will you use? One, two, that's it. That's your pictograph completed. Question two. The temperature was three degrees Celsius at 9 a.m. by 12 noon, it'll drop by five degrees Celsius. What was the new temperature? Put a number line, put, you can draw your number line. Then you would go from three to two. You're gonna move five steps. One, two, three, four, one more step. Five, where do you end up after making those five steps to the left? Yes, you end up at negative two. So the answer is negative two degrees Celsius. Question three, the ratio of boys to girls is one to two. There are six girls, give the number of boys. So draw or match it up, match it up. Then you can draw your arrows. So if it says the number of girls, there are six girls, two goes to six. How do you get from two to six? You have to multiply, multiply by three. So if you multiply that ratio by three, you have to multiply the other ratio by, yes, by three. So if you multiply the other ratio by three with the blue line, that's one times three, you get three. So the answer is three boys. Question four, plot and join these points on the graph. One, two, 
Remember, you look on the X axis first. So there it is. One, two. Now do three, two. Look on the X axis first. Three. And look for two on the Y. There it is. You see the blue um, dots going in. Last one is one, five. There it is. One on the X, five on the Y. Now draw your triangle. There is your triangle. And what type of triangle is it? A right triangle or right angle triangle. Okay, we move on to question five. Clemmer's 12 feet piece of wood, ply with it because in the three equal pieces, what is the length of each piece? You're dividing 12 by three. 12 divided by three, four. So each piece will be four feet long. It's just 12 divided by three. That's the answer for that. Question five. Just division, simple division. Question six. The cost of a soda is $1.55. So $1.55 to the nearest dollar is two dollars. Why? Because it's 55 cents, it's closer to two dollars. Five dollars, 25 cents is five dollars, closer to five dollars. Find the sum of the estimates. Two dollars plus five dollars, seven dollars. Okay, so that one was fairly simple. You just had to estimate the prices you had there to the nearest dollar and then add them. Some means you add. And we move on to question seven. Each side of a square table is two meters. Find the perimeter of this table. So put in your sides. Two meters, two meters, two meters, two meters. Perimeter means distance all around. Add your two meters all around. Two and two is four and two is six. Two is eight meters is the distance all around the table. That's what the word perimeter means. Distance all around. Answer, eight meters. Or you just gotta multiply it by four. Since it's a square table, all of the sides would be the same size. Four twos, eight meters. And we move on to question eight. Mary used one pound of flour in a recipe that makes two servings. So one P is equal to two S. And then you want to know how many pounds for six servings. So match up the two to the six. What do you get from, when you go from two to six, what do you multiply by? You multiply by three. So multiply the one by three and you get three pounds. So she would need three pounds of flour for six servings. And we move on to question nine. There are eight boys and seven girls in a class. What is the probability of picking a boy at random? How many boys? Eight. How many students in the class? Fifteen. Eight and seven is fifteen. So the probability written as a fraction is eight fifteenths. That's the answer for that question nine. Probability of picking a boy at random. The number of boys over the number of students in the class. Eight and final question, question 10. Complete the following table that shows the flight time of Banana Airlines. So from Nassau to Freeport, it, start, it departs at 8 and it takes 45 minutes. So arrival time, 8.45 a.m. And from Nassau to Aucklands, it departs at 6 a.m. and it arrives at 7.55. That's one hour and 55 minutes. 8.45 for the arrival and Nassau to Freeport. And it takes one hour and 55 minutes from Nassau to Auckland. Mark them. And that's it for this test one, grade six. Teachers, share me out and let your parents subscribe their students to prepare them to do well on these exams. Stay 